everyone, it's Jillian and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a slime shop review with a bit of a twist. So I bought all these slimes secretly. So as you know, Kawaii Slime Company is one of my favorite slime shops and I've reviewed them a couple of times before. But what I wanted to do was to secret shop their slime shop. So I used a completely different address, I used a completely different name and they had no idea that this slime package was coming to me. And I did this because I wanted to see if there was a difference in quality of the slime and the parcel and I'm so excited to let you guys know what I think. Here I'm also just showing you some of the other things I picked up while I made this order because I can't help myself. I always like buying new slime supplies and this is one of my favorite places to buy them. Look at all these cute new sprinkles I have. I might now be broke but at least I have a lot of cute new slime supplies and I'll leave a link in the description box if you'd like to check out Kawaii Slime Company. That's where I buy a lot of my slime supplies from and if you do decide to buy something from Kawaii Slime Company and you would like like a discount just use the code Jillian while you're checking out and it will give you 10% off which is awesome because we all love saving money. The first slime I decided to pick up is a fishbowl slime and I've never tried a fishbowl slime from Kawaii Slime Company so I was excited to see what this was like. So this is a five ounce slime and it's called Fizzy Bear Fishbowl Slime and it came in the cutest little heart shaped container which didn't crack at all and all these slimes were sealed really well. So to start off with I just decided to mix this slime together. It was a little bit sticky so I added a touch of activator and it also comes with the cutest little gummy bear charms and what I was so happy about with this slime was that it came with like three or four charms. A lot of the times with slimes you normally just get one charm but this had so many little charms hidden in the slime. I loved the scent of this. It was so limey. Limey? That's not a word Julian. It smelled like lime. It was citrusy and I was really happy with it. Next we have a butter slime and this is raspberry butter slime. So this is a four ounce and it's I think supposed to be swirled two different colors but due to shipping mine came mixed which is fine. That always always happens. Slimes have to travel so far to get to me all the way over here in Australia. So this had some large chunky pink glitter in it and it also came with the cutest little charm and it was like a little pink sparkly bear. And I like how they include their charms separately so you don't have to dig through the slime to find them and then you can just pop them on top. I really liked the texture of this slime. It spread amazingly. It was really really soft and it had the most amazing scent. To me it smelled like a berry ice cream if that makes sense like raspberry ice cream. Oh it smelled so good. Up next we have a clear 8 ounce slime and this is KSC Signature Slime. So this is Kwai Slime Company's Signature Slime and of course I had to pick this up. So this is the most incredible slime I have ever come across in my slime journey. As you can see here it is so crystal clear. I was just mesmerized by how beautiful this slime was. You could see every single little add-in in this slime and everything just shone through this reminded me of glass with how clear it was and I've been working on making the perfect clear slime putty myself and this is just goals this is what I'm aiming towards I don't know how they do it but it was perfect so like I said it is definitely a putty texture you have to tug it quite slowly but it is amazing I love how you can see every element through this slime and I'm not kidding guys when I first started playing with this slime I was just like what what is going on what is this slime words can't describe how much I loved this slime I could not fault it it was like looking through the clearest water and seeing the prettiest seashells at the bottom and now I'm just waiting for it to clear back up so I can play with it again Up 
next we have a butter slime and this is don't feed the unicorns and because it has a unicorn in the title of course I needed it in my life so this is an eight ounce slime and this I'm pretty sure was two-toned but mine was mixed due to shipping and it was also topped with some cute little sprinkles and iridescent flakes so I did have to add a touch of activator to this because it had become sticky but that's fine it does have to travel a long way now the only thing I have to say about this slime was that the little bag with the little charms in it it had I think a unicorn in it and then it had sprinkles and iridescent flakes and all those fun things it had a hole in the bag so the sprinkles and the flakes and all that had fallen out and gone through my slime package but that's fine that's just me being fussy this was probably my least favorite slime from the package it was still a great slime I think I was just a little bit underwhelmed by the unicorn factor of it like I said my little bag with all the extras had a hole in it so I didn't really have that much to top it off with so it wasn't as magical as I would have liked but it was still an amazing texture of butter slime kawaii slime company makes some of my favorite butter slimes Next, we have a bit of a fun slime. So this is Key Lime Puddin <laughs> Slime. And this is a six ounce, but it also comes with a 1.5 ounce container of whipped cream slime to top it off. So first I just went ahead and reactivated the glossy base because it had melted quite a bit. Then I took the whipped cream part and popped it on top. And then it also came with these cute little lime Fimo pieces, I think they're called. And I just placed these on top. And this was so aesthetically pleasing, I loved it so much I think it's so cute how you get to assemble this yourself it makes it 10 times more fun to play with to like get to put it all together how you like and I was just so happy with it I loved the scent of this slime and I can tell that they worked so hard to get the perfect key lime pie scent it was scented like lime with a hint of this bakery like cookie scent which I think is supposed to resemble the biscuit base in a pie and they got the scent so spot-on I love I loved this slime. It ended up being a hybrid between a glossy slime and a butter slime once the two different textures were mixed and it was great for bubble pops, great for poking, great for slime soils and I was just so happy with the entire concept of this slime. Up next we have an 8 ounce clear slime and this is Message in a Bottle and I spent so long looking at this slime before I actually started playing with it because as you can see here you can see straight down to the bottom and look at all the different add-ins. It's seriously like, like looking through the clearest water and I'm just so amazed with their clear slimes. I'm seriously feeling like jumping on a plane, flying over to their slime headquarters, knocking on their front door and asking for their clear slime recipe because it's like nothing I've ever seen and I wanted know the secret because it's perfect so this slime had something really interesting in it that I've never seen in a slime and they are called bijou beads I'm not sure if I'm saying that right but they're these tiny little beads and they just gave it the coolest texture it kind of reminded me like sand but not in a bad way in like a sand in the ocean kind of way it just worked perfectly with it and I loved how you could see the iridescent flakes just poking through with this slime again perfect I think I'm going to purchase all of their clear slimes because they are my favorite and I cannot make clear slimes like that so I'm just gonna live through Kawaii Slime Company and keep buying theirs. <laughs> Up next, we have another super fun slime, and this is another one of those slimes where you get to put it together yourself, which you guys know I love. So this is a maple butter pancakes slime, and you start off with a whipped butter slime base, and then as you can see, there's a little bit of yellow butter slime on top, which is like the butter on top of your pancakes, and then you get to drizzle on your own maple syrup inspired slime. The only thing I wish was different about this slime is that the little butter part of this slime came separately so you could add it on top yourself I had to remove the lid so so slowly and so carefully because I didn't want the butter part to mix in with the pancake part because I wanted to get the whole experience of this slime but other than that I really really liked the whole idea behind this slime it smelled just like maple syrup like straight up pancakes it was amazing it was also really light and fluffy and great for spreading which is exactly what you want in a butter slime and it was so so soft I was so happy with this slime and it was so much fun to put together 
So my final thoughts on this secret shopped slime package is that there was no difference between this slime package and a slime package that they knew that they were sending me to review, which is exactly what you want when you're buying from a slime shop. They put just as much love and care into this slime package as they do to all of their slime packages. There was no difference in quality, which I loved and I am so happy to be associated with this brand. They are so perfect and I always tell them how much I love them. <laughs> so if you would like to more videos in the future don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you all in my next video i love you all so so much bye